In this session, let's cover a business model which is that of Quora, that is a platform for Q&A that has become very popular over the years. It's a very interesting platform because the way Quora has been tackling the problem of really being able to answer any questions uh, that people and users may have on the web, the company has been doing it with a hybrid approach, meaning that it combines technology and human effort uh, at scale to actually try to answer any, any question. So the main value proposition of, of Quora is, uh, as a user is that you know, I can find free knowledge uh, from, uh, from real people. So there are like several players when it comes to this platform. Here, as we said, we have the users, we have the top writers, the investors, the publishers and the writers. As I said, when it comes to users, the main um, value proposition is that users can find any sort of knowledge from real people and in many cases also uh, by, by experts. So the ability of the platform to attract uh, the the um, you know the top riders it's uh, extremely important indeed the top riders are uh, some of the key players for the platform in fact while um, you know initially uh, the platform the users adoption of the platform is very important in reality what keeps it going over time is that top riders keep investing time in building up content uh, for free on the on the platform and that's where the platform builds up its uh, its business when it comes to uh, instead the third uh, you know key stakeholder uh, this is made by this is comprised by investors who right now have really at the platform scale up even though the platform is not yet profitable as of now and then on the other side you have publishers and online businesses as uh, as actually quora uh, is uh, an advertising uh, advertising based platform it's primarily uh, text-based contextual advertising and it's very interesting for, for uh, online businesses, for instance, to promote their business on Quora because they can get visibility on a very in-depth topics written by top writers where they can attract users back to their business. And of course, then there is the writer's community who also is important because from the writers over time will develop also top writers, meaning that the most important aspect for Quora is to foster a community of riders that over time will become top riders. Because if the platform has invested in your growth, then as you can imagine, uh, when you become top rider, you might keep, um, you know, uh, giving your contribution to the to the platform. So again, the way this business model works, it's very uh, interesting because it has five key uh, main players. Um, all important. The most important ones, though, are really the riders, top riders that attract users and over time the more the platform is able to keep this continuous flow of content and qualified content written by those writers not only this is big, this is valuable to users who land on the platform this also enables the, the platform to actually have high ranking on search engines for instance if you look at the traffic composition of quora you see that a lot of it is still coming from platforms like um, uh, from a search engine like google now for google is still extremely valuable to point to quora because of course uh, the users can find many answers which are written by you know uh, humans but at the same time as we move forward over time we know that also as google will evolve and its ability to give direct answers to users quora might become less um, useful therefore the more the content available on the platform is going to be you know really uh, unique content the more the platform might actually be valuable uh, over time and in the long term and in terms of monetization as we saw the main uh, monetize uh, the, the main monetization strategies by offering uh, advertising based uh, and contextual advertising you know to to its users on the on the platform